The photosynthesis process. The process of photosynthesis consists of the light reactions and the Calvin cycle reactions. The light reactions, which produce ATP and NADPH, occur in the thicloid membrane. These molecules are used by the Calvin cycle in the stroma to reduce carbon dioxide to the carbohydrate. In this video, we will go in depth about the light reactions and the Calvin cycle reaction. reactions. Energized electrons lead PS2 and pass down an electron transport chain leading to the formation of ATP. Energized electrons replaced from PS2 leave PS1 and pass to NADP+, which then combines with H+, to become NADPH. The electrons from PS2 are replaced with electrons from water as it splits to release oxygen. The process of ATP synthase, which is an enzyme turning into ATP, is called chemiosmosis phosphorylation. The ATP and NADPH, which was produced in the light reaction, is fed into the Calvin cycle, which we will explain next. Calvin cycle reactions. The Calvin cycle is divided into three portions, CO2 fixation, CO2 reduction, and regeneration of RUBP. Because five G3P are needed to reform three RUBP, it takes three turns of the cycle to achieve a net gain of one G3P. Two G3P molecules are needed to form glucose. Each circle in the carbon cycle diagram is a carbon atom. It is important to keep track of the carbon because the carbon throughout the cycle wants to remain balanced. Also, RUBP stands for regulose-1,5-biphosphate. Now we are going to talk about cellular respiration. The enzymatic reactions of glycolysis take place in the cytoplasm. The preparatory reaction, the citric acid cycle, and the electron transport chain occur in the mitochondria. Next, we are going to be talking about glycoly or glycolysis. Now we are talking about glycolysis, which occurs in the cytoplasm outside the mitochondria, and it is the breakdown of glucose to two molecules of pyruvate. Energy is invested to activate glucose, two ATPs are gained, and oxida oxidation results in NADH, which will be used later for additional ATP production. The preparatory reaction takes place in the matrix of the mitochondria. Pyruvate is oxidized and a CO2 molecule is given off. This is part of the CO2 we breathe out. NAD plus accepts electrons and hydrogen ions, forming NADH. The product, a two carbon actyl group, is attached to coenzyme A, forming actyl coenzyme A. Therefore, per glucose molecule, the outputs are two CO2, two NADH, and two actyl coenzyme A's. The citric acid cycle also takes place in the matrix of the mitochondria. As oxidation occurs, NADH and FADH2 results in more CO2 is, result, or is released. The citric acid cycle is able to produce two ATP per glucose molecule. The electron transport chain is a series of electron carriers in the cristae of the mitochondria. NADPDH and FADH2 give up electrons to the chain. Energy is released and captured as the electrons move from a higher energy to a lower energy state. Later this energy will be used for the production of ATP. ATP happens in a process called chemiosmosis phosphorylation, which is when ATP synthase combines ADP and the protons and moves it through the electron transport chain and turns it into ATP. Later, this energy will be produced for the production of ATP. 
Oxygen, O2, is the final electron acceptor. It then combines with hydrogen ions, H2, to produce H2O. All of the components of cellular respiration have been dependently with each other, and they are not linear.